In this video, I'm going to share with you four tips to help you make a decision on whether or not to join an RV club, and we're starting right now. What's going on YouTube? We hope that all is well in your world. My name is Aaron with Retails RV. If this is your first time here and you want to see more RV related tips, tricks to help you with your own RV, or you want to learn how to do some simple RV DIY projects and other creative stuff, then make sure you hit that subscribe button now so we can help you do just that. And with that out of the way, let's get on with today's topic. As Lori and I get ready to start traveling this fall, we started thinking about joining one of the many RV clubs out there. Campground fees are a major expense and we want to try to come up with ways to help reduce those costs. We have come up with four tips that may help you make your own decision. Do your research. In today's world, it is always good practice to research what you are really getting before you buy. There is no point in buying a camp club membership if you don't like the parks or none of them are on your travel route. Plus, you should never get into a long-term contract until you're sure it is something that you will use. Understand exactly what you're getting yourself into, for how long, and what the cancellation terms are before you make a purchase. Buy only when you need it and not before. Why have something you're not going to use? RV clubs are only useful if you make use of them. Now, most memberships can be paid for online and are almost instantaneous, but some require a 24-hour notice before benefits apply. Know the restrictions. Most campgrounds won't honor a club discount during holidays and weekends, and some block off entire weeks or months in the peak season. You can only expect good, well-run parks, but not five-star amenities. You may have to drive five to ten miles out of your way, and sometimes phone ahead for reservations. However, if saving money is an objective, camping at $12 or $15 a night sure beats $25 to $30. Cancel it when you don't use it anymore. Unless you find yourself using your membership already, don't make the mistake of buying a membership and then auto-renewing every year. You can always buy another membership later, so buy it when you use it and have it set up to remind you when it is due. Then if you don't use it as you imagined you would, then you can cut it loose. Let us know in the comment section below how you feel about RV membership clubs. Are they worth it? What RV memberships do you have? We hope that you found this video helpful in some way, and if you know someone that would benefit from watching this video, make sure that you share this video with them. If you want more RV related tips and tricks to help you with your own RV, and you want to learn how to do simple RV DIY projects and other creative stuff, then make sure you hit the subscribe button somewhere on this page so you can get more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, live simple, live free, and enjoy the ride, and we'll see you next time.